All right, here we go. Big Johnny Shin, day 1043 at the park. So, yes, I know. Looks like I'm my new uniform now, this hoodie. Today was 90 degrees, too. It's like, where did this heat come from, right? And then, so now, you know, sun's going down kind of and enjoying the outdoors. But today I had to write commercials all day. I had a commercial for my school. And then so, you know, I figure, I mean, it's totally fine. But, you know, trying to do the whole creativity stuff and you know, just doing my best. And I got to do it really well before uh, Wednesday night. So Wednesday, we'll see. But uh, I don't know. The whole thing with the whole technology and how things go, we just got to just do our best and see what happens, right? So today was a good day. I ate lunch. I ate chicken. Is that one of those places, the Iranian chicken places? I don't even know what it's called. I didn't even make a video. But it's one of those ones where it's like, I don't know, it's like grilled. I mean, it, it reminds me of a place called Zanku Chicken. Okay. So if you guys ever eat there, it's like, you know, it's a bunch of like basil and garlic, whatever. And it's like the sauce is really good. The chicken like falls off the bone, all that kind of stuff, right? totally delicious and uh i got a salad so i figured oh, okay that's chicken it's like a healthy chicken healthy salad and i came out of the drink got water so today that was a pretty good day eating wise i mean the crappy thing about it is that's all i ate today but i had a good meal and i feel great now the lesson of this one is, I ate a pretty decent. Okay, I ate half of it, right? Half chicken. Yeah, it was it was it was good in the sense where uh, where uh, uh, you know I I was gonna choose between the baked potato and uh, or that, but then I'm thinking, gosh, you know, I gotta eat more healthier and, and stuff, right? And then plus lately, whenever I eat, I go food coma right and then so you know there's a lot of reasons why that could possibly happen so i figure okay let's eat that the salad drink the water see how it goes so afterwards i feel great i really do you know sometimes hold on <coughs> there goes this mask all my germs are inside the mask. I'm like, dummy, why didn't I take off the mask and sneeze out here? Because no one's around me. Great. Hold on. Uh, it's like lately, when I've been eating stuff, I would go out, eat, and I'd drink like a soda. Okay, it's my downfall. Okay, what do you expect? I figure I'm doing the machine, but that's no matter. There's no excuse for me to drink soda, but I do, okay? But I didn't do it today, but every time I usually do it, I get nasty food coma. Seriously. And my nose is running. This is horrible. Uh, nasty food coma. So then, seriously, I remember one time I went eat with Harold and then, you know, we're going to work on stuff. And I'm sitting on this couch. I, I just fall asleep. It's ridiculous. I'm like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? So, um, I think that's what I want to try doing. Eat more healthier water. I mean, I, I always say this. I always say this. But you guys know as well as I do. It's like I'm a chronic liar when it comes to this. It's not that I'm eating a lot or like, or, well, okay. Usually like one meal, but it's like a lot of these things on the celebrations. Well, you know, I'm still going to keep though. I know you guys give me crap about that, but I'm still going to do that. This summer, my birthday, all year long. But the regular random big meals, I'm not. I'm, I'm going to cut down on those because a, I'll save money, and b, I'll probably be more productive, right? So, you know, the good thing is I didn't go to Costco for a while. 
And so, you know, I'm worried about, am I going to guard those snacks and everything? But I'm doing perfectly fine without these snacks. You know, I'm, I'm uh, eating my blood pressure medicine, trying to cut down on the salt. So as a result, you pee a lot. But, um, you know, it's, it makes you feel good. You don't feel like you're a, you're like a, a blueberry ready to pop or something, you know, like, like on Willy Wonka. But, uh, um, uh, I, I'm not concerned about how my, my joints and my body feels because that part I feel really good. Okay. I mean, moving around oh, on that machine it's helping the full motion and stuff my posture feels a lot better and uh, um, you know on that part feels really good I just got to start upping it to like 30 minutes or something you know but what it does it allows me to be more bold with what I eat but I have to realize I can't do that I have to realize I got to keep everything under control and, uh, you know, just change my taste buds, you know, and I have to remember all my friends who are like, you know, like totally in fit, all my model friends, guys and girls, right, who are the ones that are into bodybuilding and stuff, watching what they eat, different spices they use, portion control, I mean, life's really simple. But I make it complicated because I'm like, okay, it's like, I guess it's like running a race, okay? Like you're doing a sprint, but instead of me sprinting like the other people are, I decide to put hurdles. And not just one or ten hurdles, but like a bunch of hurdles. And so it's making me um, slow down on, you know, different goals that you want to want to get. So... You know, from this point on, I gotta just be smarter about putting obstacles in my way to get to what I want to do. So it goes back to the whole excuses. I'm not gonna make excuses on things. Uh, whatever. I really think I'm getting sick. This is bad, and it's not a good thing. But it's it's this regular cold thing. Like you know, I'm just so used to being in hot now, air conditioned. But now it's hot or cold. I don't know. Whatever. All right, there you go, Dave. 1,043 in the books. So, um, yeah, just the different things get in your way, and uh, you know, they hold up making excuses and all that stuff. But it's, uh, I got. It's not like I'm making excuses. It's more of a I keep putting stuff in my way. I keep giving myself hurdles and obstacles to not get the job done. Even though I will get the job done, but it just takes a little bit longer. But if I could just remove these obstacles or just not put them in place. So it's like, you know, when people are like in those individualized sports, they go, you know, the biggest competitions yourself yeah that's it so i gotta just uh stop doing that anyways big daddy shan day 1043 if i could exercise 143 days in a row you can exercise 143 days in a row if i could do it you could do it i'm doing it uh yeah just uh not how much i replacing obstacles let's just say just uh Re removing hurdles. There we go. self place hurdles. Yeah. Removing self-obstacles. There you go.